Hey guys and welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. This is Chapter 1, Land of the Lilikin. The Wellspring Woods. So, this must be Grimoire. <laughs> what? to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. <laughs> we need to find the silver lining. Lilikin and giants. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lilikin and the taller people are called giants. The twins can switch freely between these forms to change rain, use L1 and circle, and land is L1 and square. Although you're free to strut around as either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a good uh, it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Tapping into the tip jar. The tips you see in these panels are never out of reach. You can view them again by selecting the tip jar from the game menu. In fact, you might even notice in a crow has slipped a few extra tidbits in there that don't appear during the course of the game, so remember to check the tip jar every now and then. I guess we should head straight down this path? I guess we should check the tip jar. Let's triangle again the other options, always forget that. Uh, so we've read the active time battle, uh, assigning shortcuts to abilities. Yes, we did read that. Uh, battle modes, yes, we got that one. The classic battle menu, we read that. Action points and tapping into the tip jar, Lilikin and Giants, of course. And that's everything. But we'll keep an eye out to see if that uh, updates at all. Items, what items have we got so far? We've got the Yurugu Prism. That allows us to capture a Yurugu, which is the thing that we fought the first time. But it was unprismable b -b 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 back then. So if we find another one, we'll be able to capture what? it. What? I'm not gonna get lost! This is the direction yeah. we can go, I think we can manage not to get lost. Right, let's go back into giant mode. It's the most adorable chocobo oh, chick. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you yes. waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. Indeed, I shall imprison the it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna be squeeing around like a, a, a one of these anime dweebs. Weeaboos. Pikachu! I choose you! Uh Hammer. Is that right? It's Hammer. First, you're the going to need this. Yeah, Hammer. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Enna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Ooh. Does it even have pictures? You like the pictures. betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism. In order to imprison a mirage, you'll need an empty prism compatible with that mirage. But there's some good news. Enna Crow will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you encounter a new mirage. Huh. Why doesn't Enna Crow just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. Don't worry, you'll be able to bef befriend almost every mirage you meet, eventually. But be sure to take the time to get to know the friends you have before looking for new ones. All about prismariums. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage's prismarium allows you to use that mirage in battle. If you look closely at prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. So to recap, you start with an empty prism, and prismarium is a mirage, and the prism turns it into a prismarium. The prismarium lets you add the mirage to your stacks to use in battle. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you won't lose the prism, so there's no need 
to hold back. Good luck. Mirage Data and the Libra ability. If you press options during the battle, a window will op open containing info on the mirages you're facing, and with the Libra ability, you can see even more detailed information. You can switch between the mirages with L1 and R1. Each mirage is strong or weak against certain elements or status ailments. Learn to identify the following symbols when looking at mirages data. Fire, water, ice, earth, thunder, light, wind and dark. Poison, confusion, sleep, blindness, oblivion, berserk, slow and death. Okay, so it can nullify which is the bounce or absorb which is the any. Gotcha. Element status ailment symbols. In addition to status ailments, characters sometimes undergo the positive and negative changes in battle. These are usually triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Uh, Alright, I'm sure we can work this one out. This is it! Ah, so he's Libra and the Choker Chick for me. Thank you. Uh, use physical attacks to create a prism unity. Uh, pris prism. Prism tunity. Like an opportunity, but a prism tunity. Got you. Uh, it's weak to ice and dark, but strong to wind and earth. It's also weak to knockout and something else, I don't know what that is. There's rain. Big stack L. Tama! L because it's land. Alright, I want to... Uh, let's just use physical attacks on it because we want to create a prism there, tunity. A prism tunity. Use there the imprism command to the clean that mirage for your own. Go on. Well do to have Select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Creating a prism a prism tunity. You can't just walk up to mirages and imprison them to collect a mirage, you'll need to knock it into the prism tunity state first. Mirages won't let their guard down forever, so don't miss a prism tunity when it arrives. Sometimes all you need to create a prism tunity is a big, heavy club. But the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting a club down and thinking outside the box. Prism tunity requirements vary from mirage to mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint. And what are you doing? Ah, oh, it's not gonna hurt me. In prison! Oh yeah. The Choco Chick is yours. Hey, Imprisoning look, successful. Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep. That was a good fight. Predictable. Rain, you didn't even do anything, so don't let me know your cheek. Nice, we all leveled up off of that one. We got no ducats. You have befriended a new mirage. It can be transfigured into. I'm guessing it's a medium choco chick and a large choco chick. Or a medium chocobo and a large chocobo. A little chocobo that loves to waddle around these feathery friends love to headbutt things. This is fine, because a chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. Uh, imprisoned one potion in Geisho Greens. Let's view its abilities. What does it have? Cure, Shell, Ram, Stroke, wow, okay. Is this the ones it's got, or...? Yeah, the next one's the higher levels. Alright, got you. Uh, let's just confirm. I'm not going to name any of them, I'm just going to use the defaults, because I like the defaults. It's kind of, it's the same thing that I've done when I played Pokemon, I just like the default names. Yeah, little Choco Chick. Yellow cutie. Why are we uh, I can see the Lillian's chick here? running around in the prismarium? Lillian's. Pretty oh. the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create yeah. a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. 
Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Should I stack? When you stack with mirages, the stats such as HP of all the stack members are combined. Your abilities may also transform stacking with the right buddy, give you access to a new and powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart, but there's one downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you in trouble. Use the stack setup screen in the game menu to choose which mirages will fight alongside you, or is it on top of you. You should set up stacks for both your forms. Lilikin and Giant. That way, you're ready for battle no matter what size you're using to explore. A stack can be up to three members high. There's one simple rule. Smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Get wise about mirage sizes. Lana Rain and their mirages are assigned sizes. Small, medium and large. And your stacks, large goes in the bottom, medium goes in the middle and small goes on top. Easy, right? When Rain and Lan are L-sized giants, mirages will always stack above them, but when the twins are M-sized Lilikin, things get a little more crazy. Suddenly they can ride atop of L-sized mirages and put S-sized mirages on top of their heads at the same time. That was a behemoth there. By the way, a you two can behemoth. switch between giant size and Lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in Lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Right, well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at our abilities for now. So we've got Imprism. Okay, both have Imprism. Uh Tama has Libra and Foxfire. Uh the Choco Chick has nothing. So let's hit up the the stack, and I'm going to put on top of rain. You can have the choco check, and uh, on top of lull rain, you can have the choco check as well. Perfect. It's now here, little chocobo friend, choco check friend. Mirage Date and a Libra ability we looked at, Prisming all about Prismariums, creating a Prismunity, should I stack, should I unstack, send out your stacks. Ah, we didn't actually look at this. Anyone not in a stack is considered to be unstacked and can, be take, and can take action individually. This can sometimes be very useful. Your party's weaknesses are isolated and damage is spread out while unstacked, which can significantly increase your chances of survival. Here's an example. If a stack is KO'd or poisoned, the whole stack suffers the same fate, but if they're unstacked, only one ally has to take the hit. In other words, it can be easier to recover from debilitating attacks as long as you pick up on the signs and unstack in time. So that's a new little one that you uh, you don't actually get to see if you just kind of rush around. Uh, we'll stay big for now, I suppose. Okay, what is this? Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we going to do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem! Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. It's about rude. Give you up. You see a luster leaf reflected in its eye. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. 
Using Mirage Boards to power up. Each Mirage has its own Mirage Board, a special chart that's packed with new powers and potential. Abilities, stat boosts, each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the SP your Mirages earn when they level up. Some spaces on the Mirage Boards cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions, but with a little work, they're all within reach. Mirages that have learned the Stroll ability will appear alongside rain and land in the field, so you can explore Grimoire together. If you're accompanied by multiple Mirages with a Stroll ability, you can cycle between them, both the left and right. Sometimes strolling Mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing different Mirages to different places. You may be surprised by what they find. Unlock Stroll. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the tip jar and see if we've got anything new. Using Mirage Boards and Stroll, okay. So let's go into the Choco Chicks Mirage Board. So here you've got the uh, the three different types of Choco of Chocobo, but we only know the Choco Chick so far, so let's have a little look at it. And the first one we can get is Stroll, which means it can walk alongside us. Uh, we've then got Ram, which inflicts neutral physical damage in the top of strength of medium, and Cure, which restores HP. Alright, so we got Stroll on him. Let's have a little look at Tama to see what Tama can get. Tama can also level up. Uh, you've already got Foxfire and Libra. You get HP that will passively increase your HP for 3 SP. Base strength or accuracy. Where will we want to go back? Magic, magic defense. You can use seeds on this space to learn custom abilities. Ah, so that's how we can get Stroll there. I think we would prefer HP and restore HP. Okay. Well, how many SP did the, the Choco Chick have left? It still has 2 SP. Does that mean it can get anything else? I didn't actually look. I know Cures for Ram is 2. I actually kind of like Ram as a skill. Gillfinder, Agility. Choco Chick, obtain a Choco Chick prism. Oh, okay. So we can get another one. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, are we kind of like. Ram's pretty good for the top line strength. I think we'll go with that. Because that will help us further down the line. And they did say that everything's unlockable, so. I'm not going to stress out too much about what skills to get hey, at what time. Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Yeah, it has. What have you found? Oh, this bush actually huh? is something. Oh, it's a luster leaf. Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the gimme golem one more at a time. Huh? Oh, yeah. I found something. I'm going to have another little look around here, see if... See if my little... conscious little chick can find anything. Is there anything back here, little chicky? Oh my god, look at his little piggy legs. There you go, let's all let's all be tiny little things. Gimme, gimme! Yes, yes, give you, give you. Why thank you. Whoa! It vanished! That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage Boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage Boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Was waiting for us further ahead. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.